Wow, welcome back to the money show again. Now we are heading to the current affairs and that is for Omar. So Omar, what do you have for us? Thank you, Aisa. Um, it is notorious of the fact that we are on um state of emergency. Mm -hmm. And when it's state of emergency, there were certain restrictions that was put in place. But yesterday we had the government spoke passing. Mm -hmm saying that um, some of the restrictions will be lifted and one of the restrictions is of um, the closure of mosques and toys should now be opened wow. for prayers and schools um those going to school from grade 12 and also grade 9 should mm -hmm. also be allowed to go to school That's as good. normal mm -hmm. and market should cause to start open from six o'clock to six o'clock they will close <laughs> wow, wow. so definitely there are they is in the restriction even though still we still have coronavirus cases mm -hmm. But um, still, governments, definitely most of them are happy, especially those that, you know, put themselves more into religion. They are happy of the fact that, you know, they can now go and worship, you know, worship God mm -hmm. as they used to do it before the state of emergency. Mm -hmm. But um, the corrections are happening, and if you look at social media, people are saying, uh, why do Baro do show? Because um, bearing in mind that they had a news prior to this that Baro is about to go to a place to integrate. He has a political agenda. And have to go with his, you know, his... <laughs> crew, mm -hmm. you know, to that place, to integrate that place. So people are saying definitely, um, perhaps Baru is playing place, I think a police Because he's the one who declares state of emergency. Ask people to stay at home. So why should he go to, um, why did he decide to, on Friday, on to, on Friday, we'll to go to politics. this place Excuse to Excuse me, is it after 21 days? No. Yeah, no, 21 no. days will end tomorrow, uh, next week, I think. Really? Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're still in this uh, state of emergency, but he's about to go with his crew to that place to integrate. So mm. people are saying it is either he disrespects us or yeah. it is a matter of him being negligent in this part. Mm -hmm. It's not about negligence, this is just a political game. <laughs> because he, yeah, he wants to go there and he cannot go there in the state of emergency. He can go, but there will be, there, there will be a backlash, there will be a uh, lot of lot lot of talk around that. So but but the point is for me, even uh, when they declared another twenty one days of state of emergency, it doesn't make sense. We've called uh, <coughs> the rumor management officer of the Ministry of Health. I have an interview with him here and although the National Assembly members did not vote for the extension of the state of emergency, but Barrow based on his own discretion, he, he used the powers, you know, that are bestowed on him as uh, Right, executive, yeah. yeah, executive directives to go on with the state of emergency, but it doesn't make sense at all because you have to look at the past state of emergency. That's forty-five days. It has not been regulated. Mm -hmm. it, it was meaningless. So coming up with another state of emergency is is, is quite meaningless. We knew this. We knew this is coming. No, but and, but and I think that they, they need to be consistent with their regulations. No, but but they I'll, want I'll, to respect I'll definitely from people. not agree with you for the fact that. It is not necessary. State of emergency is necessary. Mm -hmm. I told you earlier on, we do not have any laws that will put certain things in place unless you declare a state of emergency. But am I people abiding so, to the law? No, we are not abiding. That is, that is the implementation have to do with us, mm -hmm. have to do with the government authorities. But if we all fail in our responsibilities, then perhaps it will be useless. How did the citizens fail in their responsibility? Well, um, you were asked to, um, to, to, if you are a shopkeeper, if you sell in, um, like, like essential goods, meaning goods that you must use if you uh, use them for, for consumption, for instance, you are asked to open from um, 8 o'clock towards um, 2 and close. But you realize of the fact that people still open the whole day. Mm -hmm. We are not abiding. We are asked not to in our cars to overload our cars. If you are launching to carry for 14 passengers, you are now allowed to have 7 passengers seven. in your vehicle. But, but we, we are still not having we, that. We, we, no, 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 how many cars? Essential, we, essential goods were in operation. We, and not essential goods start opening from two, mm -hmm. two weeks back, two weeks back, I mean, seven cars, seven vehicles Amal. were arrested and were taken to magistrate court. Amal, so find, hmm? I think you should blame it on poverty. Mm -hmm. Poverty. No, on citizens. You don't expect you me to say at home. <laughs> no, you don't expect me to say at home just mm -hmm. because you have something to eat from morning to na noon or from noon to the evening. Just because you have that doesn't mean I have it. I have to struggle. Some of us struggle. Hand to mouth every day. Right. Okay, you don't expect me to go and go around be begging people for money because I have to come to the shop because it has to close again at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm.
Stambou ma amé halis. Stambou wou lay dem jenn. And you cannot stop me. Uh, Gambia is an underdeveloped country and we are struggling. So the government should know that. Wow, we Don't blame it on citizen bro. bro. No, I wouldn't sit here and say that. Wow, I'm so gay. 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 I'm so the mom the forward am police bon ubi fofu ci basse so inauguration bobu nonu motax mu buga ñu arrêter public emergency bi so ligi lool la ñuy waxtane ay chef president bi waxul la lool de ah kan lan la president bi wax wa afa ba ma wax la rek ben affaire state of emergency pour ñu declare ko is not at the interest of the state no it's, it's for the interest of everyone yeah i know you realize that there is something that happened that enters in our country of course and if proper measures are not taken hmm. Our country will lead to dooms, or it is going to be a disaster. And I condone hundred percent. So if that happened, <laughs> it is the response of the state to make sure they put certain precautions, certain measures in place. They cannot sit and leave everything with the citizens. That's why they put the state of emergency. And the responsible of executing the state of emergency is not the police, it's not the government, it's everybody. Because whosoever is affected with coronavirus, you will be the first person to suffer. That happened very clear. But the, the, the reason why people are saying that why should uh, President Barrow um, lift the restriction because at the time in which we were declaring a state of emergency, we have only four cases. And recently also we have four cases. So those that we are claiming coronavirus is not true, mm -hmm. they are about to create doubts. Because some people are saying, well, it is just about politics. It is just about the government want to, the, the, the European Union or other organizations to lift their tax or to lift the loans that was given to them. So that, that, that sense of people are questioning whether are the government serious about coronavirus because they're saying, according to World Health Organization, gathering is one of the factors that can, you know, widely spread coronavirus. So if you are now allowing people to gather mm -hmm. without even the government, they said there will be details coming mm -hmm. as to how they must operate, but nothing from the minister of, uh, nothing from the spokesperson of the government has not clearly spelled out whether they're going with max whether they're going to have hand sanitizer or mm -hmm. any other form. Mm -hmm. Because we just saw in Senegal that they opened their mosque, but um, they, they, they pray in space, one, one meter, and you have your mask, you also have sanitizer, so that you yeah. are just to ease, make sure that the spread of coronavirus is limited or is avoided. Mm -hmm. But the government is not doing anything, and we, we get the news that he is about to go to Basse tomorrow, and hopefully he will integrate that place and he will go with his people. So the, 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 the political or the game is too much, and mm -hmm. health is not those type of issues. How For health, we should remove away this too much nonsense there. And, and, also, and there. also, Omar, um, we've seen uh, people who were arrested mm -hmm. on the 8th and uh, that's some weeks ago or one week some days ago and uh, yesterday you declared that you left a barn or close of the mosques and the schools so I mean I, I don't get it and three days ago the uh, Ministry of Health announced that they have another new case so what's going on come on one of the reasons why people are doubting um, the current the existence of current in this country is that like you mentioned, no the eight. Look at, did you guys uh, say that that crowd around Serkuda Market? The crowd was uncontrollable. Like they were moving freely. So you just get through and do with coronavirus, everybody. People, of course. So Boro going over there, you are not, to me, it's a political agenda. He's pushing his blood guy, which is why the National Assembly members know, but they knew better. Politics, la? Wala do politics. Lo lo kan nagin ka ba ito? Comment below. Wala do politics. Politics. Why do you borrow, Mr. President? Yeah. Wala do politics. 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 Health is very important. Health shouldn't become compromised. If you put certain projects in health, perhaps you can have a political agenda when it comes to health. It's accepted. And that political agenda might be how are you going to uplift the standard of the health sector. Yes. 
But in a way that you're going to you're going to persuade the National Assembly, mm -hmm. it's voting in for the, the Ministry of Health budget. Mm -hmm. In a way that you're going to uh, have a very good proposal that you can present to the world. Mm -hmm. In a way that they can you know support your health sector. Those are political agenda when it comes to health. But then putting politics on health um, is, 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 is definitely detrimental to everyone. Well, colleague, you have dinner there. Then you join us in segment. Bring my people, let us. Just take a break and then come back. And don't forget to comment below, like and subscribe. Thank you guys. <laughs>